Now from here starts a series of surahs, eight, seven surahs, starting with Hamim. Six with only Hamim, and one Hamim and seen off. Surah to Shura. Hamim. Tanzeel al kitab min Allah al aziz al alim. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the exalted in might, the knowing. If you remember, the former surah, Surah Zumar, started with Tanzeel al Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Hakim. Now, the only one word has changed. Tanzeel al Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Alim. There was Hakim, here is Alim. Otherwise, the ayah is the same. The sending down of this book, the revelation of this book is coming from Allah who is Al-Aziz, Al-Powerful, Al-Haleen, very forbearing. The forgiver of sin, acceptor of repentance, severe in punishment, owner of abundance. There is no deity except him. To him is the destination. Ghafir is zamb. He is the forgiver of the sin. Waqabil is taub. The acceptor of repentance. Shadeed al iqab. Very severe in punishment. Zid tal. Lord of Bounty. Now these are the four attributes of Allah. But here these are in complex, not one word. Allah's names are in one word. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Qadir. But here, Kafir is Zamb. The forgiver of the sin. Waqabil is Tawb. And acceptor of the repentance. Shadeed al-Iqab. Zid Tawl. Lord of Bounty. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except Him. Ilaihi al-Masir. And to Him will be the return. Ma yujadilu fi ayati Allahi illa al-lazina kafaru fala yagrurka taqallubuhum fi al-bilad. No one disputes concerning the signs of Allah except those who disbelieve. So be not deceived by their uninhibited movement throughout the land. Nobody disputes regarding the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except those who, who disbelieve. So they are going to and fro in the land, let not deceive you. They are going there, they are taking the caravan to Syria, caravan now going to uh, Yemen, etc., etc. But all this, you know, going to and fro, you should not be overawed, don't be impressed. It should not deceive you. كَذَّبَتْ قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمُ نُوحٍ وَالْأَحْزَابُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ وَهَمَّتْ كُلُّ أُمَّةٍ بِرَسُولِهِمْ لِيَأْخُذُوهُ وَجَادَلُوا بِالْبَاطِلِ لِيُدْحِضُوا بِهِ الْحَقَّ فَأَخَذْتُهُمْ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ عِقَابٍ The people of Noah denied before them and the disbelieving factions after them and every nation intended a plot for their messenger to seize him and they disputed by using falsehood to attempt to invalidate thereby the truth. So I seized them, and how terrible was my penalty. Before them, the people knew, people of Nuh also disbelieved and belied. 
wal ahzabu min ba'dihim and many nations after them also the hud nation of hud nation of saleh nation of shu'ib and the cities of gomorrah and sodom and so on and so forth wa hammat kullu ummatin bi rasulihim la ya'khudhu and every ummah plotted to seize their messenger la ya'khudhu to kill him or to expel him from their cities wa jadalu bil batil la yudhudu bihi al haqqa and they disputed with falsehood so that they can somehow rebut thereby the truth فَأَخَذْتُهُمْ Then I seized them all. فَكَيْفَ كَانَ إِقَابْ So how was my punishment? How I punished the people of Nuh? How I punished the people of Hud? How I punished the people of Saleh? How I destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? How I described, destroyed the people of Shreb? وَكَذَلِكَ حَقَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّهُمْ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ And thus has the word of your Lord come into effect upon those who disbelieved that they are companions of the fire. وَكَذَلِكَ حَقَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And this true word of your Lord has become applied to these disbelievers also from Quraysh. They are disbelieving, rejecting your call. So it is applicable to them also. Annahum ashabun nar That they are also the dwellers of the fire. الذين يحملون العرش ومن حوله يسبحون بحمد ربهم ويؤمنون به ويؤمنون به ويستغفرون للذين آمنوا ربنا وسعت كل شيء رحمة وعلما فاغفر للذين تابوا فاغفر للذين تابوا واتبعوا سبيلك وقهم عذاب الجحيم those angels who carry the throne and those around it exalt Allah with praise of their Lord and believe in Him and ask forgiveness for those who have believed, saying, Our Lord, You have encompassed all things in mercy and knowledge, so forgive those who have repented and followed Your way and protect them from the punishment of hellfire. Alladheena yahmilun al-arsh Another very beautiful scene. The angels who bear the throne of their Lord. Raman Hawlahu and those who are around that. You know the scene with which Surah Zumar ended. Here we have it in the beginning. There are there, there is the throne. There are angels who are bearing the throne of Lord, and then around are so many angels. Alladina Yahmiruna al Arsh Raman Hawlahu. Yusabihuna bihamdi Rabbihim. They are glorifying all the time their Lord with His praise. By you, minuna bihi, and have full trust and faith in Him. By yastaghfiruna lillazina amanu, and they ask, go on asking, keep on asking the Lord forgiveness for those in the world who have come to believe. So we can rejoice. The angels of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala might be asking. His forgiveness for us at this very time. Oh Allah, your servants sitting in a mosque, in an Islamic center, reading, trying to understand your book. Rabbana wasirta kulla shayin rahmatan wa ilma. Oh Lord, you have encompassed everything with your knowledge as well as mercy. Faghfir lillazina taabu. So please forgive those, those human beings who have repented. And now they are following your path. And save them from the chastisement of the hell. 
ربنا وأدخلهم جنات عدن التي وعدتهم ومن صلح من آبائهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم Our Lord, and admit them to gardens of perpetual residence which you have promised them and whoever was righteous among their fathers, their spouses and their offspring. Indeed, it is you who is the exalted in might, the wise. And our Lord, please admit them, make them enter those gardens of perpetual bliss which you have promised to them. And not only them, وَمَنْ صَلَحَ مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَزُبِيَاتِهِمْ And also with them, the righteous among their fathers and wives and offsprings. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Verily, you are all-powerful, you have the authority. If the father is also from Ashab al-Jannah, he has passed the test, declared he is successful, but he is not of the level of the son. The son had to go to a higher paradise. But now, for the sake of the son, the level of the father will be raised. In the same way of the sons. But they should be, they should have passed, you know, they should have succeeded in, 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 in that balance and in that interrogation and accountability. <laughs> وَمَنْ تَقِ السَّيِّئَاتِ يَوْمَئِذٍ فَقَدْ رَحِمْتَهُ وَذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ And protect them from the evil consequences of their deeds. And he whom you protect from evil consequences that day, you will have given him mercy. And that is the great attainment. وَقِهِمُ السَّيِّئَاتِ Save them. From evil things. وَمَنْ تَقِ السَّيَّاتِ يَوْمَيْزٍ فَقِدْ رَحِمْتَ And whomsoever you save from these evil things that day, so you have verily shown your mercy on him. وَذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْضُ الْعَظِيمُ And definitely it is the biggest success. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يُنَادَوْنَ لَمَقْتُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ مَقْتِكُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ إِذْ تُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى الْإِيمَانِ فَتَكْفُرُونَ Indeed, those who disbelieve will be addressed. The hatred of Allah for you was even greater than your hatred of yourselves this day in hell, when you were invited to faith, but you refused. In the Ladina Kafaru Yunadon, as for those who had who had rejected the faith, who had disbelieved, they will be called La Maktullahi Akbarobin Maktekum and Fusakum. The hatred that you have today, from this hatred, the hatred of Allah was much greater. Is to the honor Ila Liman, leave the Takfarun, and you were refusing to believe. So Allah hated you at that time. Now that you are in the hell and you are hating yourself, where I have come. So Allah was more hateful of you when you were called to believe and you rejected. قَالُوا رَبَّنَا أَمَتَّنَا اثْنَتَيْنِ وَأَحْيَيْتَنَا اثْنَتَيْنِ فَاعْتَرَفْنَا بِذُنُوبِنَا فَاعْتَرَفْنَا بِذُنُوبِنَا فَهَلْ إِلَى خُرُوجٍ مِّن سَبِيلٍ They will say, Our Lord, you made us lifeless twice and gave us life twice, and we have confessed our sins. So is there to an exit any way? قَالُوا They will say, رَبَّنَا أَمَتَّنَا صَدَتَيْنِ O our Lord, you made us die twice. And then you gave us life twice. So now we confess our guilt 
ever since. Fahal ila khuruji min sabil. Is there any way to get out of here? This is one of the most difficult but very important ayat of the Quran. Twice put to death, twice revived. How? Generally in Quran we have one one death which will come to us, and then we shall be revived. That is the only revival. No, we were put to death before also, and we were revived before also. Our first creation was in the form of the spirits. When that covenant was taken from us, Alastobe Rabbekum Alu Bala. We were all present from Adam till the last man. The souls or spirits of all of them were present over there. Then we were made to sleep. This was the first death put to us. And then you know in this animal khalq, the world of creation. Now when a fetus is ready after four months in the womb of the mother, now his soul is brought there by an angel and blown into him. This is ihya. Now it has come to life. First life was dead. When we were spirits only. We slept. It was the first death. And now we have come here. We open our eyes in this world. This is the life of souls plus this body. Then a death will come. These two things will separate. Body will go to the earth. مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً نُخْرَى But the soul will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu yatawaffal anfus ha'ina mawtiha. We have just read in Surah Al-Zumar. And then a day will come when we shall be given another body and then our soul will be attached to it. That will be the second revival. Now what these are saying is that these four, five, you know, stages have passed. Because before first death there was life. When we made that covenant with you, Alastobe Rabbekum, Karubala, well, we were self-conscious. Self we were living. We were not dead. So there was life, then death, then life, then death, then life now again. So if we have passed five phases, oh Allah, let there be another sixth phase also. You just let us go out once. Hal ila khurujim min sabil. إذا دعي الله وحده كفرتم وإن يشرك به تؤمنوا فالحكم لله العلي الكبير They will be told that is because when Allah was called upon alone you disbelieved but if others were associated with him you believed so the judgment is with Allah, the Most High, the Grand. The answer will be negative. No. Why? When Allah was called for, called upon, you belied. You rejected. And if some sort of association was described with him, you believed in that. فَالْحُكْمُ لِلَّهِ الْعَلِيِّ الْكَبِيرِ Now the command and the judgment rests with Allah, who is high and the great. هُوَ الَّذِي يُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُنَزِّلُ لَكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ رِزْقًا وَمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ إِلَّا مَنْ يُنِيبُ it is he who shows you his signs and sends down to you from the sky provision. But none will remember except he who turns back in repentance. It is he who shows you his signs. And he sent down from, from the heaven the sustenance for you. And only those are admonished who turn penitently to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now comes the ayah which is the main central theme of this surah. And this is dua. The theme of the last surah was 
عبادہ فعبد اللہ مخلصین له الدین عبادہ ان اے وے دیٹ یو کیپ دی ایبسولوٹ اوبیڈینس فار اللہ الون ریزرڈ بٹ ایز دیر ار احادیث دی پروفٹ سیڈ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الدعاء مخ العباده دعاء از دی ایسنس اف عبادہ الدعاء هو العباده ایکچولی دعاء از دی ریل عبادہ سو نو دعاء شوڈ بی تو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالى تو نن ایلس اف یو کال اینی بڈی ایلس ات از شرک دعاء ہیز ٹو بی فار اللہ سبحانہ وتعالى بٹ دس دعاء از ایکسپٹیبل بائی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالى اونلی when you have made your obedience exclusively for him if you are committing shirk then he doesn't listen to your prayers what to say of granting your prayers accepting your prayers he doesn't listen first of all you have to be muwahhid in your actions in your deeds la taata li makhluqin fi ba'siyat al khaliq no obedience to anyone among the creatures in which there is a disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unless you can pass this test, your dua, it goes in vain. Nobody listens. And that is why our prayers are not granted by Allah. What happened in 1971? How many, not only in Pakistan and Bangladesh, also in the Haramain, the haram of Bakka and haram of Madinah. But did Allah come to our help? No. Dhaka fell. Pakistan bifurcated. A very humiliating defeat. What happened to the Arabs in 1967? What is happening today? While I was coming to the United States, I passed through Saudi Arabia, performed Umrah. Every day, dua e qunut in Medina and Makkah both. For these peoples, the evildoers, the jahud, but Allah is not listening. Did you establish our system? No. Qul ya'ala al-kitab, lastum ala shayin, hatta tuqimu tawrata wal injil. This is the ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah. O Muhammad, tell them, O people of the book, You have no face to talk to us, to pray to us, unless you establish Torah and Injil and what has been revealed and sent down to you. In the same way, substitute the word Quran in the place of Kitab. Qul ya al Quran, dastu bala shayin hatta taqim al Qurana. Mama udila lekum bil Rabbi. You have no face to pray to us, unless you establish Quran and what has been sent down for you. Have we established Quran somewhere? No. Anyhow, this Umud. أدعو الله مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون. So invoke Allah, being sincere to Him in religion, although the disbelievers dislike it. فادعو الله مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون. So pray to Allah, call upon Allah. But the condition is that you should keep your obedience, absolute obedience, exclusive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then only Allah will listen to your prayers and grant your prayers. Rafi'u al-darajati dhu al-arshi yulqi al-ruha min amrihi ala man yasha'u min ibadihi liyum. He is the exalted above all degrees, owner of the throne. He places the inspiration of his command upon whom he wills of his servants to warn of the day of meeting. The few darajat, he is the one who raises the levels. The few darajat ranks zulash. He is the Lord of the throne. You will kill Ruha min Amrihi ala man yasha. He sends down the spirit from his command. That is revelation. Wahi. Ala man yasha min ibadihi. On whomsoever he wants from his bondsmen, his servants. Le yun zira yawmat talaq. 
so that he should warn the people of the day of meeting when you will have to meet your Lord. يَوْمَهُمْ بَارِزُونَ لَا يَخْفَى عَلَى اللَّهِ مِنْهُمْ شَيْءٍ لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَهَّارِ The day they come forth, nothing concerning them will be concealed from Allah. To whom belongs all sovereignty this day? To Allah, the one, the prevailing. Yawmahum barizun, when they will be standing before Allah. La yakhfa alallahi minhum shay. Nothing from them will be hidden from Allah. Everything will be in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Liman il mulku liyawm. And then someone would cry, To whom belongs the sovereignty today? In the world, you had claimed sovereignty for yourself, your sovereigns. We will elect our representatives and they can frame laws, whatever they like. We don't know what is the divine law, what is the sharia, what Allah says, what Allah has prohibited, what Allah has declared haram. No reference to it. But to whom belongs the sovereignty today? لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَحَارِ This will be the reply from all present over there. Sovereignty and kingship today belongs only to Allah. He is the one, the only one, and the omnipotent. الْيَوْمَ تُجِزَى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ لا ظلم اليوم إن الله سريع الحساب. This day every soul will be recompensed for what it earned. No injustice today. Indeed, Allah is swift in account. اليوم تجزى كل نفس بما كسبت. Then it will be announced today. Every soul will be recompensed. What it has done. La zulm al yom. Today there will going to be no injustice to anybody. Inna Allah sariyo al hisab. Verily Allah is very swift in reckoning. Wa anzirhum yom al azifati idhi al qulub lada al hanajir kaazimin. Ma li al zalimin min hamim. ولا شفيع يطاع. And warn them, O Muhammad, of the approaching day when hearts are at the throats, filled with distress. For the wrongdoers there will be no devoted friend and no intercessor who is obeyed. وانظرهم يوم عازفة and O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم you please warn them of the day which is approaching near, coming day by day. Each day it is approaching. When the hearts will reach the throats and they will be choked, choked with grief. For these evildoers there will be no friend nor any intercessor who would be obeyed whose intercession would be compulsory on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, no, not at all. No, nobody. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنِ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ He knows that which deceives the eyes and what the breasts conceal. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنِ He knows the treachery of the eyes. Whatever you have seen, Maybe other people have not seen what you have seen, but Allah knows what you have seen. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْعَيُنِ وَمَا تُفِّ الصُّدُورِ And whatsoever is hidden in the hearts and the chests. وَاللَّهُ يَقْضِي بِالْحَقِّ وَالَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ لَا يَقْضُونَ بِشَيْءٍ and Allah judges with truth, 
while those they invoke besides him judge not with anything. Indeed, Allah, he is the hearing, the seeing. Wallahu yaqzi bil haq. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge with truth and justice. وَالَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ لَا يَقْزُونَ بِشَيْءِ As for those whom they associate with ignorance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will not be able to judge anything at all. إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ السَّمِيُّ الْبَصِيرِ Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who listens everything and sees everything. أَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْفُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ كَانُوا هُمْ أَشَدَّ مِنْهُمْ قُوَّةً وَآثَارًا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَأَخَذَهُمُ اللَّهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ فأخذهم الله بذنوبهم وما كان لهم من الله من واق. Have they not traveled through the land and observed how was the end of those who were before them? They were greater than them in strength and in impression on the land, but Allah seized them for their sins, and they had not from Allah any protector. أَوَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Have they not traveled in the land and seen, seen for themselves, seen for themselves, what was the end of those people who were before them, the people of Aad and Samud, etc., etc. كَانُوا هُمْ أَشَدَّ مِنْهُمْ قُوَّةً They were much more mightier than them in power. وَأَسَارًا فِي الْأَرْضِ And they left in the, uh, in the land, فَأَخَذَهُمُ اللَّهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ But then Allah sees them due to their sins. وَمَا كَانَ لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَاقْ And there was nobody who could save them from Allah's punishment. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُمْ كَانَتْ تَأْتِيهِمْ رُسُلُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ فَكَفَرُوا فَأَخَذَهُمُ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ قَوِيٌّ that was because their messengers were coming to them with clear proofs, but they disbelieved, so Allah seized them. Indeed, He is powerful and severe in punishment. And this happened because to them their messengers came with clear signs and clear teachings for kafaru, but they denied. They refused to accept. فَأَخَذَهُمُ الله. So Allah sees them. إِنَّهُ قَوِيٌّ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ Verily, He is strong, severe in retribution and punishment. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا وَسُلْطَانٍ مُبِينٍ And we did certainly send Moses with our signs and a clear authority. إِلَى فِرْعَوْنَ وَهَامَانَ وَقَارُونَ فَقَالُوا سَاحِرٌ كَذَّابٌ To Pharaoh, Haman, and Karun. But they said, He is a magician and a liar. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا وَسُلْتَانِ مُّبِينَ إِلَى فِرْعَوْنَ وَهَامَانَ وَقَارُونَ And we have sent Musa, alayhi salatu wa salam, with our signs and a clear authority. To Firaun and Haman and, ha and Karun. فَقَالُوا سَاهِرٌ كَذَّابٌ They said, he is a sorcerer, magician, and a liar. فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ مِنْ عِنْدِنَا قَالُوا قُتُلُوا أَبْنَاءَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ وَاسْتَحْيُوا نِسَاءَهُمْ وَمَا كَيْدُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ And when he brought them the truth from us, they said, Kill the sons of those who have believed with him, and keep their women alive. But the plan of the disbelievers is not except in error. فَلَمَا جَعَوْا بِالْحَقْ مِنْ اِنْدِنَا And when the, to them came the, when he came to them with truth from us, 
Kaluk to do of Nal Lazina Manu, they said, kill the sons of those who believe in him. Bastahun is armed. Keep alive the women. Babaka will Katharina and Nafi Dalal. But the planning of the disbelievers is bound to fail. وقال فرعون ذروني أقتل موسى وليدع ربه إني أخاف أن يبدل دينكم أو أن يظهر في الأرض الفساد And Pharaoh said, Let me kill Moses and let him call upon his Lord. Indeed, I fear that he will change your religion, or that he will cause corruption in the land. Now this is a very important event of the story of Fir'aun and Musa There was a time in the beginning when the people had asked Fir'aun to kill Musa. But at that time, the natural love that he had, because both of them were brought up in the palace as brothers, Musa was like an elder brother to that Pharaoh. He said, no, he cannot do any harm to us. Why to kill him? Okay, if you fear something, we shall kill their newborn male babies and only keep alive the females. But now at stage, later stage, now Pharaoh himself thought that now enough is enough. Now Musa should be killed. But he had smelled somehow that among his own chieftains, someone was there who had sided with Musa, Musa So now he put a resolution in his court. This is meant here and then, you know, a person who was from the nation of Firon. He had come to believe in Musa And he has kept his iman, his faith, hidden up till this time. But when this came up, that we resolved to kill him. Then he stood up and he made a lecture, delivered a lecture, a sermon. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this sermon so much importance that no sermon of even any messenger of Allah has been reported in Quran in this length, length in which you will find the sermon of that person who was from the nation of Fir'aun, who had only come to believe in Musa alayhi But his speech is given in detail over here. Very beautiful. وَقَالَ فِرَعَوْنُ ذَرُونِ أَقْتُلْ مُوسَى And Fir'aun said, now allow me that I should kill Musa. وَلْيَادُ رَبَّهُ And if he has any lord, actually, he can call him. إِنِّي أَخَافَ وَيُبَدِّ لَدِينَكُمْ Now I fear, he will change your deen. أَوْ وَيُزْهِرَ فِي الْأَرْضِ الْفَسَادِ Or he will create some other mischief in the land. قال موسى إني عذت بربي وربكم من كل متكبر لا يؤمن بيوم الحساب. But Moses said, Indeed, I have sought refuge in my Lord and your Lord from every arrogant one who does not believe in the day of account. فقال موسى and Musa said, alayhi salatu wa salam, inni ustu bi rabbi wa rabbikum. I take the refuge of my Lord and your Lord. Min kulli mutakabbirin. Against every arrogant person. La yuminu bi yawm al-hisab. Who doesn't believe in the day of judgment. Wa qala rajulun mu'minun min ali fir'aun yaktumu imanahu. أَتَقْتُلُونَ رَجُلًا أَنْ يَقُولَ رَبِّيَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يَقُولَ رَبِّيَ اللَّهُ وَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَإِنْ يَكُ كَاذِبًا فَعَلَيْهِ كَذِبُهُ وَإِنْ يَكُ صَادِقًا يُصِبْكُمْ بَعْضُ الَّذِي يَعِدُكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي مَنْ هُوَ مُسْرِفٌ كَذَّابٌ And a believing man from the family of Pharaoh, who concealed his faith, said, Do you kill a man merely because he says, 
My Lord is Allah, while he has brought you clear proofs from your Lord? And if he should be lying, then upon him is the consequence of his lie. But if he should be truthful, there will strike you some of what he promises you. Indeed, Allah does not guide one who is a transgressor and a liar. Now from here starts the lecture or sermon of the person. Now a believer from among the nation of Fir'aun, Yaktumu Imanahu, who had been hiding his Iman up till now. He never declared. But now he thought that critical moment has come. Now I should start up, stand up. And what did he say? Attaqtuluna rajulan and yakula rabbi Allah. Do you want to kill a person only? Because he says, my Lord is Allah. He has brought clear signs to you from your Lord. He came with miracles. He has shown you nine miracles. If he is a liar, well, this lie will come over him. He will repent. He will have the bad result of his but supposedly, if he is true, whatever he is saying is correct, then what he threatens will come to you, will definitely come to you. Verily Allah doesn't guide those who are prodigal and liars. يَا قَوْمِ لَكُمُ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمَ ظَاهِرِينَ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَمَنْ يَنْصُرُنَا مِنْ بَأْسِ اللَّهِ إِنْ جَاءَنَا قَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ مَا أُرِيكُمْ إِلَّا مَا أَرَى وَمَا أَهْدِيكُمْ إِلَّا سَبِيلَ الرَّشَادِ O my people, sovereignty is yours today, your being dominant in the land. But who would protect us from the punishment of Allah if it came to us? Pharaoh said, I do not show you except what I see and I do not guide you except to the way of right conduct. Ya qawmi, O my nation, O my people, lakumul mulkul yawm. Today you have the sovereignty, you have the power, zahirina fil ard. You are powerful in this land. Faman yansuruna min basillah. But who will be able to save us from the chastisement of Allah in jana if it comes to us? Ta'ala Fir'aun. Now Fir'aun, said and you watch these words Qala Fir'aun ma aurikum illa ma ara wa ma ahdikum illa sabila rashad I show to you what I see my opinion I have presented before you and I guide you only to the right path he is insisting on what he proposed that Musa should be killed but he is not so forceful he is seeing that the speech of that woman of Ali Firaun has some effect on the courtiers. And he who believed said, O oh my people, indeed I fear for you a fate like the day of the companies. And that person continues and said the person who had believed, Ya qawmi inni akhafu alaykum isla yawmi al-ahsab. Oh my people, I fear for you that the chastisements which came to the former nation might come to you. Isla da'bi qawmi Nuhin wa Adin wa Thamud wa al-lazina min ba'dihim وَمَا اللَّهُ يُرِيدُ ظُلْمًا لِلْعِبَادِ Like the custom of the people of Noah, and of Ad, and Thamud, and those after them. And Allah wants no injustice for His servants. مِسْلَدَابِ قَوْمِ نُوحِ The like of the case of the people of Nuh. 
وآدن و سمودا اور آدن سمود ولذین ہم امبادین اور دوز ہوئے آفٹر دیم وما اللہ یرید ظلم للعباد اور دیفنیٹلی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ڈس نٹ انٹینڈ اینی انجسٹس تو ہیس سرونٹس یا قوم انی اخاف علیکم یوم التناد And O oh my people, indeed I fear for you the day of calling. Fayaqom, O my nation, inni akhafu alaykum yawmat tanad. I fear about you. A day will come when there will be who and cry. And nobody will be listening to anybody else. Yawma tuwalluna mudbirina ma lakum min Allahi min aasim. وَمَن يُضْلِلِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ هَادِ The day you will turn your backs fleeing, there is not for you from Allah any protector. And whoever Allah leaves astray, there is not for him any guide. يَوْمَ تَوَلُّونَ مُدْبِرِينَ On the day when you will turn back, when you will turn away on your backs, مَا لَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ عَاصِمْ But there will be none who could, who would be able to save you from Allah. وَمَنْ يُدْلِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ حَادِ And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray, for him there is no guider to the right path. وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ يُوسُفُ مِنْ قَبْلُ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكِّمْ مِنْ And Joseph had already come to you before with clear proofs. But you remained in doubt of that which he brought to you, until when he died you said, Never will Allah send a messenger after him. Thus does Allah leave astray he who is a transgressor and skeptic. وَلَقَدْ جَاكُمْ يُوسُفُ مِنْ قَبْلِ The speech is continuing. To you, Yusuf came, مِنْ قَبْلِ, before. Now there is a, you know, period of about 400 years between the times of Yusuf alayhi salam, and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. He came to you with clear signs. فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكِّ مِمَّا جَاكُمْ But you continued doubting about what he brought to you. حَتَّى إِذَا هَلَكَ Till that time that he died, when he died, قُلْتُمْ You said, لَنْ يَبْعَصَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رَسُولًا After him, Allah is not going to send any messenger. Then they came to know that he was a messenger, but they never believed that he was a messenger in the, during the life of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. كَذَلِكَ يُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ هُوَ مُسْرِفٌ مُرْتَابٌ In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray who is prodigal and doubter. الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ سُلْطَانٍ أَتَاهُمْ كَبُرَ مَقْتًا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَعِنْدَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كَذَلِكَ يَطْبَعُ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ قَلْبِ مُتَكَبِّرٍ جَبَّارٍ Those who dispute concerning the signs of Allah without an authority having come to them, great is hatred of them in the sight of Allah and in the sight of those who have believed. Thus does Allah seal over every heart belonging to an arrogant tyrant. الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ سُلْطَانِ عَطَاهُمْ Who dispute the, the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any authority that Allah, Allah might have given them. كَبُرَ بَقْتًا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَإِنْدَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And this is very hateful in the eyes of Allah and in the eyes of those who, have, who believe. كَذَلِكَ يَتْبَعُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ قَلْبِ مُتَكَبِّرٍ جَبَّارٍ And in this way, Allah Ta'ala puts a seal on the heart of every person who is arrogant and aggressive. 
وقال فرعون يا هامان ابن لي صرحا لعلي أبلغ الأسباب And Pharaoh said, O Haman, construct for me a tower that I might reach the ways. وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ يَا هَمَانُ بْنُ لِي سَرْحَ اللَّهَ لِي أَبْلَغَ الْأَسْبَابِ Now this, this speech of that moment is continuing. But in between, this Fir'aun is interjecting. قَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ and said Fir'aun, يَا هَمَانُ O Haman, he was the minister of constructions, public works. يَا هَمَانُ بْنُ لِي سَرْحَ Build a tower for me. So that I may reach the roads, the roads of the heavens. أسباب السماوات فأطلع إلى إله موسى وإني لا أظنه كاذبا. وكذلك زين لفرعون سوء عمله وصد عن السبيل. وَمَا كَيْدُ فِرْعَوْنَ إِلَّا فِي تَبَابِ The ways into the heavens, so that I may look at the deity of Moses. But indeed, I think he is a liar. And thus was made attractive to Pharaoh the evil of his deed, and he was averted from the right way. And the plan of Pharaoh was not except in ruin. Samawad. And I will try to look upon the Lord of Moses. As far as I think, he is a liar. He is telling a lie. There is no Lord except myself. And in this way, the evil actions of Fir'aun were made beautiful for him. And he was prevented, barred from the right part of Allah. But... All the plannings of Fir'aun, they were not but to go in vain and in ruin. وَقَالَ الَّذِي آمَنَ يَا قَوْمِ اتَّبِعُونِ أَهْدِكُمْ سَبِيلَ الرَّشَادِ And he who believed said, O my people, follow me. I will guide you to the way of right conduct. وَقَالَ الَّذِي آمَنَ Again, continuing, the same believers, moment. Ya qawmit tabi'uni, O my people, you follow me. Adekum sabil rashad. I will guide you to this, to the path of success. Ya qawmi innama hadhihi alhayatu dunya mata'u wa inna alakhirata hiya daru alqarar. O oh my people, this worldly life is only temporary enjoyment, and indeed the hereafter, that is the home of permanent settlement. Ya qawmi inna ma hadhi al-hayatu dunya mata'a. O my people, O my nation, this world, this life of this world is just a passing enjoyment and nothing else. Wa inna dar al-akhirata hiya dar al-qarar. And verily, the abode of the hereafter is of eternity. مَنْ عَمِلَ سَيِّئَةً فَلَا يُجْزَى إِلَّا مِثْلَهَا وَمَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَأُولَئِكَ فَأُولَئِكَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةَ يُرْزَقُونَ فِيهَا بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Whoever does an evil deed will not be recompensed except by the like thereof. But whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, those will enter paradise, being given provision therein without account. مَنْ عَمِلَ سَيِّئَةً فَلَا يُجْزَى إِلَّا مِسْتَحَا Whosoever commits something bad, evil, he will not be recompensed but equal evil. Not more than that. وَمَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ زَكَرٍ نَعُنْسَى وَهُوْ مُؤْمِنٌ And whosoever does good deeds, whether male or female, but he or she must be a moment, believer one. 
فولائے کے یدخلون جنہ دے ویل انٹر دی پیراڈائز یرزقون فیہا بغیر حساب and they will be given provided sustenance there without any limits wa ya qaum ma li ad'ukum ila najati wa tad'unani ila nar and o oh my people how is it that i invite you to salvation while you invite me to the fire بیا قوم مالی ادو کو ملن نجات مت ادون نیر النار او مائی پیپل وٹ از اٹ آئی ایم کالنگ یو ٹوڈ سیلویشن اینڈ یو آر کالنگ می ٹوڈ فائر ہائر آف ہیل ادعون نی لاکفر بالله واشرك به ما ليس لي به علم وانا ادعوكم الى العزيز الغفار You invite me to disbelieve in Allah and associate with him that of which I have no knowledge and I invite you to the exalted in might the perpetual forgiver Tadunani li akfura billah you want to, that I should commit kufr disbelief with Allah fa ushrika bihi ma laysa li bihi ilm and associate with him that for which I have no knowledge wa ana adukum ila al-aziz al-ghaffar and i am calling you towards the one who is all powerful and who is the forgiver la jarama anna ma tad'unani ilayhi laysa lahu da'watun fi ad-dunya wala fi al-akhirati wa anna ma raddana ila Allah وَأَنَّمَا رَدَّنَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَنَّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ هُمْ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ Assuredly, that to which you invite me has no response to a supplication in this world or in the hereafter. And indeed, our return is to Allah. And indeed, the transgressors will be companions of the fire. لا جرم ان ما تدونني اليه ليس له دعوه في الدنيا ولا في الاخره there is no doubt that those to whom you are calling me to worship have no claim to be invoked in this world nor in the hereafter wanna maradna ila allah and that our return is to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanna almuslimin huwa ashab an-nar and not or no doubt that those people who exceed the limits they will be the dwellers of fire فَسَتَذْكُرُونَ مَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ وَأُفَوِّضُ أَمْرِي إِلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ And you will remember what I now say to you, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seeing of His servants. فَسَتَذْكُرُونَ مَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ Very soon you will, remind, you will remember what I said to you. If you don't follow me, the chastisement of Allah will overtake you. A time will come when they were all drowning. They must have remembered that a person from amongst ourselves, ourselves, he had given us the good advice. Only if we had listened to him. فَسَتَذْكُرُونَ مَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ Whatever I am saying to you, a time will come very soon when you will remember وَأُفَوِّذْ عَمْرِ لَلَّهِ And I entrust my affair to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ Verily, Allah sees His bondsmen and servants. Now this could happen to Him also, which happened to those, to that person about whom we have read in Surah Yaseen. When He came and He said, that i come to believe in these messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the nation at once killed him but here it seems this person had so much influence that he made made this speech in the court and the whole court seemed as if they nearly accepted what he was saying and firon now couldn't insist and that resolution of killing hazrat musa could not be carried 
وقاه الله سيئات ما مكروا وحاق بآل فرعون سوء العذاب So Allah protected him from the evils they plotted and the people of Pharaoh were enveloped by the worst of punishment. فَبَقَاهُ اللَّهُ سَيِّعَاتِ مَا بَكَرُوا So Allah saved him from the evil of their plannings and whom? Allah saved Moses also, Musa a.s. and Allah saved also this believer from the people of Fir'aun. فَبَقَاهُ اللَّهُ سَيِّعَاتِ مَا بَكَرُوا وَحَاقَ بِعَالِ فِرْعَوْنَ سُوَ الْعَذَابِ and the worst punishment came and encompassed the people of Fir'aun and this before their end. النار يعرضون عليها غدوا وعشيا ويوم تقوم الساعة أدخلوا آل فرعون أشد العذاب The fire, they are exposed to it morning and evening and the day the hour appears it will be said make the people of Pharaoh enter the severest punishment on the fire of hell they are presented day and night on the day when the that hour will come the day of judgment will come then it will be said that make enter these people and throw them in the worst punishment this is another place in the Quran which confirms that before the day of judgment also, in Qabr we say, Azab al-Qabr, there is some chastisement which people will get, and people are getting even now. Because in Surah Al-Furqan we read, Yuzaf lahu al-Azab yawm al-Qiyamah. His chastisement will be doubled on the day of judgment. But does mean, before that also, some sort of chastisement was coming to them. Here also, An-Naru yorazuna alayha wudubu wa shiyah. And this is what the Prophet has said in his hadith, that when some person is buried in the grave, either, you know, a small window is opened to his grave from hell, so that, you know, very hot winds come on blowing. Not real hell, hell but wind from the hell is coming. Or a window from the garden of paradise, so that cool breeze is coming there. This continues till the day of judgment. But then the final day of judgment will come, and then they will enter hell and they will enter the paradise. Annaru yoraduna alayha guduwan washiya. Wa yawma taqoom usaa. The day that hour will come. Adkhilu ala fir'aun ashad al azab. Then it will be said that now you throw this people of fir'aun in the worst and the severest punishment. Wa idh yatahajjuna fi nari fa yakoolu وَعَفَاءُ لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَكْبَرُوا إِنَّا كُنَّا لَكُمْ تَبَعًا فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُغْنُونَ عَنَّا نَصِيبًا مِنَ النَّارِ And mention when they will argue within the fire. And the weak will say to those who had been arrogant, Indeed, we were only your followers. So will you relieve us of a share of the fire? And just imagine when the people in the hell, in the fire, will be quarreling with each other. Those people who were oppressed in this world, they will say to their leaders who were arrogant, Inna kunna lakum taba'an. We were your followers in that world. Fahal antum mughnuna anna nasiba min annar. So now, can you avert from us at least some portion of this fire? Can you get, get, can you get the intensity of the fire reduced for us? Qala al-lazina stakbaru إِنَّا كُلٌّ فِيهَا إِنَّا 
ان الله قد حكم بين العباد Those who had been arrogant will say indeed all of us are in it indeed Allah has judged between the servants قال الذين استكبروا then those who were arrogant in the world they would say inna kun kullu fiha we are all in this fire إن الله قد حكم بين العباد. Really, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has judged between His servants. وقال الذين في النار لخزنة جهنم دعوا ربكم يخفف عنا يوم من العذاب. And those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell. Supplicate your Lord to lighten for us a day from the punishment. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ فِي النَّارِ لِخَذَنَةِ جَهَنَّمْ And now these people who will be in the fire, they will say to the keepers of the hell, اُدْعُوا رَبَّكُمْ يُخَفِّفْ عَنَّا يَوْمَ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ Please pray to your Lord, so that He may lighten for us a day of chastisement. قَالُوا أَوَلَمْ تَكُ تَأْتِيكُمْ رُسُلُكُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا بَلَا قَالُوا فَدْعُوا وَمَا دُعَاءُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالِ They will say, Did there not come to you your messengers with clear proofs? They will say, Yes. They will reply, then supplicate yourselves, but the supplication of the disbelievers is not except in error. They will say, did not your messengers come to you with clear proofs? They will say, yes, they did come. Then they will say, now you, you pray yourself. We are not going to ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. وَمَا دُعَاءُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالِ And the praying of the disbelievers is but in vain. No use. The disbelievers, when they are praying to Allah, in the same way, those who say we believe, but don't act accordingly, their prayers are so not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't listen. Unless they repent, decide, make a covenant, now I will not do anything wrong, then Allah will listen to his prayers and grant his prayers. Inna lanansur rusulana walladheena amanu fil hayati dunya wa yawma yaqoomu al-ashhad. Indeed, we will support our messengers and those who believe during the life of this world and on the day when the witnesses will stand. Surely we shall help our messengers and those who believed in us in the life of this world. And also on the day when the witnesses will stand. The day their excuse will not benefit the wrongdoers, and they will have the curse, and they will have the worst home. The day when these evil doers will not be able to avail of any excuses. And there will be for them the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there, theirs will be the evil abode. And we had certainly given Moses guidance, and we caused the children of Israel to inherit the scripture. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَ الْهُدَى وَأَوْرَسْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِلَ الْكِتَابِ 
and we gave Musa alayhi salatu wasalam guidance. And we made the children of Israel inheritors of that book. As guidance and a reminder for those of understanding. Hudan wa zikra li ulil albab. That book Torah was a guidance and an admonition for men of understanding. Asbil inna wa'da Allahi haqqu wa astaghfir li zanbika wa sabbih bihamdi rabbik. وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ بِالْعَشِيِّ وَالْإِبْكَارِ So be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. And ask forgiveness for your sin. And exalt Allah with praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Fasbir. So, O you Muhammad wasallam, have patience, persevere, in the word Allah Hakkun, the promise of Allah is going to be true. Wastafil Zambik. And you apologize to Allah and ask his forgiveness forgiveness for any shortcomings that might have come from you. And glorify Allah, your Lord, with his praise, Bil Ashiya during the evenings and during the mornings. الذين يجادلون في آيات الله بغير سلطان أتاهم إن في صدورهم إلا كبر ما هم ببالغيه فاستعذ بالله إنه هو السميع البصير Indeed, those who dispute concerning the signs of Allah without any authority having come to them, there is not within their breasts except pride, the extent of which they cannot reach. So seek refuge in Allah. Indeed, it is He who is the hearing, the seeing. <laughs> Verily, those who dispute concerning the revelations of Allah, without any authority that might have come to them, in fi sudurahim illa kibrun. Actually, in their chest, there is pride and arrogance. Mahum be baligi, which they can never attain. Fastaiz billah. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you seek the refuge of Allah. In the who was Samiul Basir. Verily, He is all listening. And all seeing. خلق السماوات والأرض أكبر من خلق الناس ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون. The creation of the heavens and earth is greater than the creation of mankind, but most of the people do not know. لا خلق السماوات والأرض أكبر من خلق الناس. The creation of heaven and earth was definitely greater and more difficult than the creation of the people. But most of the people don't have the knowledge. And not equal are the blind and the seeing, nor are those who believe and do righteous deeds and the evil doer. Little do you remember. And a person who sees and a person who is blind, they are not equal. In the same way, those who believe and do good deeds are not equal to those who are committing errors and evils. But little is the admonition that you get. Indeed, the hour is coming 
no doubt about it, but most of the people do not believe. In the Saqal Atiyatun, surely, definitely, that hour is to come, it will come. La Reba Fiha, there is no doubt in it. But most of the people are not going to believe. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ دْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ And your Lord says, Call upon me, I will respond to you. Indeed, those who disdain my worship will enter hell rendered contemptible. Now this ayah is also very important regarding the main theme of this surah. Dua. Dua to Allah. And your Lord says, Call upon me. I will listen to your prayers. I will grant your prayers. Verily those who don't pray to me, who don't worship me, out of arrogance, Sayyid Khuluna Jahannam Adakhirin, they will enter the hell disgraced. So, dua and ibadah are synonymous. Qala Rabbukum ud'uni astajib lakum. Inna lazina yastakbirun an ibadati, Sayyid Khuluna Jahannam Adakhirin. So, first the word dua has come and then ibadah, because they are synonymous. I gave you the ahadith, a dua mukhul ibadah. Dua, prayer is the essence of worship. A dua huwal ibadah. Dua actually, prayer is actually the worship. Allah alladhi ja'ala lakum al-layla li taskunu feehi wal nahara mubsira. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَذُو فَضُّلٍ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ It is Allah who made for you the night that you may rest therein and the day giving sight. Indeed, Allah is full of bounty to the people, but most of the people are not grateful. Allah الذي جعل لكم الليل لتسكنوا فيه والنهار مبصرا. It is Allah who made for you the night so that you can have respite in it, repose in it, and He made day when you can see. In the Allah that you fasten on the nas, and verily Allah subhanahu wa taala is full of bounty for the people. ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون. But most of the people they don't give thanks. ذلكم الله ربكم خالق كل شيء لا إله إلا هو فأنا تؤفكون. That is Allah, your Lord, Creator of all things. There is no deity except Him. So how are you deluded? ذلكم الله ربكم خالق كل شيء. He is Allah, your Lord, creator of everything. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except Him. Fanna tu fakun. So where from are you being diverted or deviated? ذَلِكَ يُؤْفَكُ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ Thus were those before you deluded who were rejecting the signs of Allah. In the same way, those were also in the past diverted or perverted who belied the revelation of their Lord. Allah الذي جعل لكم الأرض قرارا والسماء بناء وصوركم فأحسن صوركم وَصَوَّرَكُمْ فَأَحْسَنَ صُوَرَكُمْ وَرَزَقَكُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ ذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمْ فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ It is Allah 
who made for you the earth a place of settlement, and the sky a ceiling, and formed you and perfected your forms, and provided you with good things. That is Allah, your Lord. Then blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds. Allah It is Allah who has made for you this earth as a resting place. And he has made this heaven a roof. And he has fashioned you and fashioned your form so well. And he has provided you with the best foods, with very pure foods. Lord of the... He is Allah, your Lord. So blessed is Allah, who is the Lord of all the worlds. He is the ever-living. There is no deity except him. So call upon him, being sincere to him in religion. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. He is ever living. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except him. Fadruhu mukhlisin lahuddin. So call upon him, but keeping your obedience exclusive for him. Again, this word has come. Mukhlisin lahuddin. Fadruhu. Do call upon him. Do pray him. But you know, the prerequisite is that you have your obedience, to absolute obedience, totally reserved for him, for nobody else. Anybody else can be obeyed, where there is no obe disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if it entails the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is not to be obeyed. Whether he is your father or mother or husband or ruler or whosoever he is who commands something contrary to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is not to be obeyed. This is Tawheed. Tawheed fil itah. This is the Tawheed in obedience. And that, in the same way, Tawheed fil mahabba. Tawheed in love. You can love your children, you can love your spouses, you can love your parents, you can love your country. But Allah's love must be above all this. If the love of any one of these things becomes equal to the love of Allah, it is shirk. Now he is sitting by the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the throne of your heart. You are loving that thing also, just equal to your love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what to say when the love of something exceeds the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I have already quoted in the hadith of the Prophet the worshippers of dinar and dirham. Nobody has bowed before dinar and dirham. Nobody has prostrated before dinar and dirham. You know the Hindus, they worship Lakshmi Bai. Why? Because if Lakshmi Devi is happy, then she would grant us wealth. And what do we say? Remove this Lakshmi Bai from between. We will, we will worship the wealth itself directly. That's all. Why to have this Lakshmi Devi in between? We can worship the wealth directly. And this is what we are doing. If you don't mind it. He is ever living. There is no God except Him. So call upon Him. But keeping your absolute obedience reserved for Allah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise is for Allah who is the Lord of all the worlds. قُلْ إِنِّي نُهِيتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ لَمَّا جَاءَنِيَ الْبَيِّنَاتُ مِنْ رَبِّي لَمَّا جَاءَنِيَ الْبَيِّنَاتُ مِنْ رَبِّي وَأُمِرْتُ أَنْ أُسْلِمَ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Say, O Muhammad, Indeed, I have been forbidden to worship those you call upon besides Allah, once the clear proofs have come to me from my Lord. 
and I have been commanded to submit to the Lord of the worlds. Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have been forbidden. I can't worship those whom you are calling upon besides Allah. When clear signs and ayat have come to me from my Lord, and I have been commanded to surrender myself to the Lord of all the worlds. تراب ثم من نطفة ثم من علقة ثم من علقة ثم يخرجكم طفلا ثم لتبلغوا أشدكم ثم لتكونوا شيوخا وَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يُتَوَفَّى مِنْ قَبْلِ وَلِتَبْلُغُوا أَجَلًا مُسَمَّا وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ It is he who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a clinging clot. Then he brings you out as a child, then he develops you. that you reach your time of maturity, then further that you become elders. And among you is he who is taken in death before that, so that you reach a specified term, and perhaps you will use reason. It is he who created you out of clay, mud, summa min nutfatin, then from this sperm drop, summa min alaqatin, then from a clot of blood, As, used, as it used to be translated formally, but a hanging piece, you know, just like the leech which hangs from the wall of the womb of the mother. Summa yukhre jokum tifla. Then he brings you forth as a child, as an infant. Summa le tablo hua shudda kum. Then so that you reach your maturity. Summa le takunu shuyukha. And then so that you become old. Vamin kum manyu tawaffa min tabul. Some of you, they are... put to death before that time wale tablu ajalan musamma and that a time which is fixed for you you have to attain it wala allakum taqilun and so that you ponder over these things allah who has done all this he can create you again also huwa alladhi yuhyi wa yumit fa idha qada amran fa in انما يقول له كن فيكون he it is who gives life and causes death and when he decrees a matter he but says to it be and it is هو الذي يحيي ويميت it is he who gives life and he puts to death فاذا قضى امرا and when he has made its decision فانما يقول له كن So only he has to say for it, be, and it becomes. أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ أَنَّا يُصْرَفُونَ Do you not consider those who dispute concerning the signs of Allah? How are they averted? أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ Don't you see to those who dispute the uh, the revelations of Allah, Anna Yusrafun, from where are they being diverted away and turned away? Al-Ladina kathabu bil kitabi wa bima arsalna bihi rusulana fasawfa ya'lamun Those who deny the book and that with which we sent our messengers They are going to know. Alladina kazabu bi bi kitab, wa bi maar salna bihi rasuluna. Those people who belied our book, and those whom we sent with the book, that is our messengers, fasaw fa yalamun. Very soon they will come to know. They will come to their senses. Izil aghlalu fi aghnaqim wa salasil yushabu. 
When the shackles are around their necks and the chains, they will be dragged. When there will be fetters on their necks, there will be chains. Yushabun, they will be dragged. In boiling water, then in the fire they will be filled with flame. Fil Hamim in boiling water, summa findari yusjarun, and then they will be thrown into the fire. Thumma qila lahum ayna ma kuntum tushrikun. Then it will be said to them, Where is that which you used to associate with him in worship? Thumma qila lahum ayna ma kuntum tushrikun. Then it will be said to them, Where are those? whom you associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they can save you from the punishment. They can intercede on your behalf and save you from the accountability of the Day of Judgment. Other than Allah, they will say, they have departed from us. Rather, we did not use to invoke previously anything. Thus does Allah put astray the disbelievers. Min dunillah, besides Allah, qalu dallu anna. They will say, they all have vanished. They all have been lost. But now we have come to understand that we were not calling upon anything. These were whims only. We thought that they have something. We, this was no reality. In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray the disbelievers. The angels will say, That was because you used to exult upon the earth without right, and you used to behave insolently. This is, this is because of which you were rejoicing in the world of, of the, in, in the earth. Without any right. And because you were exalting yourself. Enter the gates of hell to abide eternally therein, and wretched is the residence of the arrogant. Now enter the doors of the hell to abide by there forever. So very bad will be the abode of the arrogant. So be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. And whether we show you some of what we have promised them, or we take you in death, it is to us they will be returned. Fasmid. As to you, O Muhammad sallam, have patience. Be patient. Inna wa'adallahi haqqun. Verily, Allah's promise is going to come true. Allah's help will come. He will destroy your enemies. But so it's only a question of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give them some respite. There is a fixed term for them. When that term comes to end, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the chastisement for them. In Allah haqqun. Now this is also possible that we show you in your own lifetime some of that which we are promising them, that the chastisement might come to them in your lifetime. 
all other was for Yadna Ka. And this was also possible that we we call you unto us back. Failana you Jaun and then they also will be done to us. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِّن قَبْلِكَ مِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَصَصْنَا عَلَيْكَ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ لَمْ نَقْصُصْ عَلَيْكَ وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولٍ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِآيَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَمْرُ اللَّهِ قُضِيَ بِالْحَقِّ وَخَسِرَ هُنَالِكَ الْمُبْطِلُونَ And we have already sent messengers before you. Among them are those whose stories we have related to you, and among them are those whose stories we have not related to you. And it was not for any messenger to bring a sign or verse except by permission of Allah. So when the command of Allah comes, it will be concluded in truth, and the falsifiers will thereupon lose all. And we send many messengers before you, some of them we have narrated to you, their conditions, their histories, their stories. And there are so many among them whom we have not mentioned to you. And there was not possible for any messenger that he could bring any sign except with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came, then everything was decided with justice and truth. And then those who who are having falsehood, they were in the loss. Allah الذي جعل لكم الأنعام لتركبوا منها ومنها تأكلون. It is Allah who made for you the grazing animals upon which you ride, and some of them you eat. Allah الذي جعل لكم الأنعام لتركبوا منها ومنها تأكلون. It is Allah who has made for you this cattle so that you ride them and also from them you eat. Their meat you eat. And for you therein are other benefits, and that you may realize upon them a need which is in your breasts, and upon them and upon ships you are carried. There are others uses for them, for you in them. And so that you can reach to fulfill the need that you have in your minds. And on them, and on the ships and boats you are carried. وَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ فَأَيَّ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تُنْكِرُونَ And he shows you his signs. So which of the signs of Allah do you deny? وَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ And he shows you his signs. فَأَيَّ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تُنْكِرُونَ so which signs of Allah will you deny? أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ كَانُوا أَكْثَرَ مِنْهُمْ وَأَشَدَّ قُوَّةً وَآثَارًا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَمَا أَغْنَى عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Have they not traveled through the land and observed how was the end of those before them? They were more numerous than themselves and greater in strength and in impression on the land. But they were not availed by what they used to earn. أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Have they not traveled in the land? فَيَنْظُرُوا so that, so that they should see كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ What was the end of those who were before them? 
kanu aksara minhum wa shadda quwwatan wa asara fil ard they were more than them in numbers and mightier in power than them and they left signs and monuments in the land tabagna anhum ma kanu yaksibun but when the chastisement of allah came nothing could avail them nothing could save them falam ما جاءتهم رسلهم بالبينات فرحوا بما عندهم من العلم وحاق بهم وحاق بهم ما كانوا به يستهزئون and when their messengers came to them with clear proofs they merely rejoiced in what they had of knowledge but they were enveloped by what they used to ridicule فلما جاءتهم رسلهم بالبينات but when our messengers came to them with clear signs فرحوا بما عندهم they kept rejoicing at what we they had already their creeds their culture their customs their false gods they were happy with them فرحوا بما عندهم من العلم وحاق بهم ما كانوا به يستهزئون but in the long run those things about which they were knocking and laughing they came and they caught and compassed them falamma ra'aw ba'sana qalu amanna billahi wahdahu wa kafarna bima kunna bihi mushrikeen and when they saw our punishment they said we believe in allah alone and disbelieve in that which we used to associate with him falama raw basana when they saw our might qalu amanna billah then they said we believe in allah wahdahu the alone wa kafarna bima kunna bihi mushrikeen and now we deny and reject those whom we had been associating with allah falam yaku yan فَعُمْ إِيمَانُهُمْ لَمَّا رَأَوْا بَأْسَنَا سُنَّةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي قَدْ خَلَتْ فِي عِبَادِهِ وَخَسِرَ هُنَالِكَ الْكَافِرُونَ But never did their faith benefit them once they saw our punishment It is the established way of Allah which has proceeded among his servants and the disbelievers thereupon lost all falam yakun yanfa'uhum imanuhum but now their iman their believing was of no avail to them of no use to them lamma raw basana when they had seen our chastisement and our might sunnat allah allati qad khalat fi ibadihi this has been the disposition or rule or law or practice of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will with all the all his servants whom he had sent before wa khasira hunalikal kafirun and at that time the disbelievers are in loss